Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube NASDAQ channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, I'm gonna introduce a small Windows XP VM as your test machine. My lab has all kinds of uh, virtual machines. Sometimes I need to find out uh, what is small resource consumption VMs. I was using some Linux. I was using damn little li Linux and um, some other small Linux release. But uh, recently I think maybe I can try Windows XP. Here it is. I tuned it a little bit. So right now I'm using 128 megabytes memory and the 5 gig or 10 gig hard drive. And uh, here the VM is running very well. It's only using 72 Mac, CPU is 0%. I'm happy with it. And also I got um, IE browser. I can do basic browsing. And uh, I have Telnet. I have Pin. I have Tracer. All kinds of network command to use, or if I need to install some application to advance testing, it's possible because it's Windows XP system. So, here is the steps I install a Windows XP and make a basic tuning, and uh, uh, this video is going to show you how to do that. From Microsoft documents, and, um, Windows XP is not supported by Hyper V, we were facing all kinds of issues. Um, first thing you need to find out the XP down. So if you don't have, then maybe you can go to the internet just quickly search for it. Um, then you should be able to get your 32 64 bit version Windows XP ISO file. It's only uh, less than 600 megabytes. Um, after that, you need to go to your Hyper V. Manager to start uh, creating new VM. So for me, and just um, I already created a 32 bit. I will just create into 64 bit with XP. I'm gonna store into my virtual machine folder. Usually, I create a new folder for all VMs I created. Let's uh, make my life easier later. I need to delete it or change it to somewhere else. So choose this folder. And remember, always using generation 1, no generation 2. Support it. Uh, startup memory. You can start with 512 to, to make sure your installation can be faster. Um, this doesn't matter because the networking will not be supported. We're going to delete that and uh, add a legacy network card in there. 10 gig is more than enough. And uh, you need to start it from your ISO file, which I downloaded yesterday. I'm going to try 64 bit. I installed 32 bit. Next. So finish it. Um, as I said, we have to change our network card. It will not support it. We need to remove that and then add a legacy network adapter. I'm going to put it into external bridge network. The one virtual CPU is more than enough in this situation. Start it and then connect. So the Windows XP is set up in starting. You don't have to do anything until you see the F8 notification comes up. So set up is starting Windows. Now we need to enter setup and F8 to agree this license. So we have 10 gigabytes hard drive unused. Just uh, make it uh, faster. You can use NTFS or FAT, doesn't matter. I tried NTFS, let's try FAT. 
plan and system gonna the installation system gonna quickly uh, formatting it and then copy the file over so the total installation gonna take uh, maybe 30 minutes Okay, system has been booted up and uh, now we can do some little bit more configuration. First thing we can change eject the Windows XP installation DVD. We can go to our programs and we can look at uh, our IP address. We haven't get any. We can change some settings to reduce them perform reduce the performance consumption. We don't need update, we don't need remote assistant. And start up to make it faster. We don't need to dump. Okay, now we can turn off the computer. So to release your mouse from a VM guest press Control LT and the uh, left key uh, we're gonna make the setting changes again so we're gonna it's a legacy network adapter we're using external bridge that's good memory we're gonna change it to 128 Other than that, we can keep like like this thing. You may want to enable guest service. Let's start it again. Continue. Actually, um, 128 megabytes for memory is too small for 64-bit Windows XP. 32-bit was fine. Um, 6 for bit they won't be booting up so I'm gonna change it to 256 
Megabyte. For the memory. Six. Not actually working. So for the 64 bit, I think 256 megabyte memory will be best. But for 32 bit, if you have 32 bit, then 128 is good enough. You check the settings. Control panel. Uh, I'm checking the network card. It seems it's not detecting the network card here. Let's check a device manager. Is that controller? The network card issue has been resolved. So this is our Windows XP 64 bit system. If you look at um, device manager, I manually installed the Intel 21140 based PCI fast Ethernet adapter emulated. Um, I was able to download a drive from internet. So just um, put the Intel 21140 based PCI then you will find the 64-bit version and 32-bit version. It's for Windows 7, but uh, it can be used for Windows XP. Once you download that, uh, you need to convert it to um, ISO file. So basically, what I, this is download file. Um, then I use in the program called um, folder to ISO and convert the extracted folder to uh, ISO file and then mount it into this hard drive, this CD-ROM. And you can quickly upload the driver from here just like this I did here choose here and don't need to search just go to the D drive folder and then you will find that uh, device and uh, you put the machine now you can have internet now So that's the process how I installed the Windows XP 64 bit into the Hyper V um, as my lab machine for testing. Um, again, Windows, 7, Windows XP 32 bit also works and even better. You don't have to worry about the network hard drive, it's automatically detected. Um, XP 32 bit only need a 120 this IP config team with the current one. No, it's not. So both of them get the IP address, but uh, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna turn off this machine. So for 64 bit, you will need a 256 megabyte memory to get it to run. Um, but both are able to run with uh, very less memory and very less hard drive and provide you a nice test of in my lab machine to do testing. Thank you for watching.